Yo, 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 what's up, bitch? Right, I had to do my thing real quick. Travis got his car over here. What's up? What's up, bitch? What y'all doing? I can't see. I touch some wheels. The Felgens? Yeah. They clear? Yeah, they clear. Bitches look good. I want it. What is it on the car? Yo. Right, they look like deep dish HXs. <laughs> Bro. Them shits don't even look like They don't look like deep dish HXs? Oh my oh. god. Oh. Travis car running, boy. Oh yeah, it's running nice, too. Heads up. You're gonna have some new parts on the motor soon. We ain't get no damn boost kit. Okay. You gotta be okay. like Robert. Robert don't even say shit. Robert just buy it. He's that a doer. That's Robert can't buy. Watch when you need his fuel and these injectors and all Bro, that. Bro, he's buying injectors Robert, for like 120. Robert, Robert got money saved up. He got, he buying FIC injectors. I got some amazing news, guys. As the title reads, yes! The car does drive. Last night, we figured out the problem. It wasn't the clutch pedal. It was the slave cylinder not being perfectly straight. It was at an angle. Travis came over and he diagnosed the problem. He was like, yo, why is your slave look like that? I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? I'm like, oh yeah, it does like it's off. So we just thought I might as well just replace the slave while I got a new master. So we went to AutoZone, I did my warranty exchange, got my new slave cylinder. Come back, we put it in, we angle everything so it could be straight. Let the clutch, put the car in gear, and boom! The car went in the gear. We drove it around the block. Sir, I didn't film me actually driving the car to actually show you guys that the car does drive. I was just too excited to even go inside and get my camera to do it. I was just like happy the car got out the damn driveway. Trust me, the car moves. I know it's like it doesn't move because the car's always parked in this position. The car moved last night. Rain's taking a shiznit in the bathroom. And yeah, when we get back out, hopefully I can show you guys how the car does move. Also, guys. Got seats guys check out the seats I got I don't know if you guys can see but I got some dark GSR confetti seats they're black I don't know if they look blue on your screen or whatever but it's coming along man it's coming along now what we're doing right now is we're adjusting the pedal because the pedal has no play and it was hard to get into gear last night so we're trying to make it easier on ourselves so the car can go into gear but that may actually mess up the clutch because if you don't have enough play in your clutch pedal you're overly engaging the clutch. I think that's what it's overly engaging or just engaging it too much. And it could mess up the clutch itself. So he's gonna get back out from doodling on a nigga bathroom. And hopefully this car should be running mint soon. I gotta get a base map for the car for sure. The car does need a base map for damn sure because I can't do it. It drove good last night, but nigga, it, it's running. It's running a little bit too lean for your boy right now. Running too lean. So, so when Randy get back, I will show you guys hopefully that the car does drive. Look who came from taking the doo doo. See if the clutch pedal adjustment is done properly. See if it goes in the gear. It went in the gear? It good though? Is it good? Go, go. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Look at my baby lead the driveway. I'm excited now I gotta do is save up my money which I don't have when if I do have I still probably wouldn't save it I gotta save up my money get fuel injectors from my boy Akeem and uh, that's it man I hope she goes in for a tune sometime once I get the injectors and I'm good baby <laughs> all right let's go It catches so 
go park it up. That's it for the test drive, y'all. That's it, baby. We back on! Only for like a week. Sorry if this part of the video is getting grainy. I had to up the ISO on it. But look, man, interior is now almost complete. I kind of want to just not put the other stuff in and just wait to get ITR, center console, and all the other stuff right there. Rennie already adjusted the push rod, but it'd be dumb as hell for me to actually film uh, the push rod itself being adjusted. But that's it, man. She's ready for a tune. I gotta get injectors. I gotta get the exhaust manifold studs retapped so I can be good. And that's it. Dang, Randy, what's up with your stomach, man? I don't know, bro. <laughs> Ass is burning. Yo, word of advice. Don't eat donuts and drink Coke. Then drink Gatorade. Because you end up like this nigga. Don't do it. Don't do it. I can't believe it. Well, I couldn't finish the video outside because it got late. But I watched the car. And now it's time to bring it home. I got that from T. Pretty successful day today. Got the car driving. We is on. Hopefully I can make it to clean culture with the car. Hopefully I get the cartoon, get injected, get the exhaust manifold studs retapped, and I'm good. So hopefully everything plays out for your boy. But I'm happy I finally got the car on the road. I drove my car. Oh man, today was a pretty good day. So could you please give your boy a thumbs up? Can we please get a thousand likes? I mean, come on, man. I got 88,000 subscribers. So can we at least get a thousand likes? That's all I ask. But you know what I'm saying? If y'all don't want to, it's cool. I still love y'all niggas. So that's it for this video. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. I should see y'all probably tomorrow or the day after. I don't know. Follow me on Snapchat, my Twitter, Instagram, all the stuff down in the description box. But Lizzo, catch y'all in the next one. Push his up. Peace. Subscribe to my channel. Be alright.